Didi TV KPM. And you're back on Didi TV KPM for our slot menengah rendah, and we're still here with Teacher M for our. Uh, subject English mm. and Teacher M. Our topic right now is different types of houses. So yeah. um, the floor is yours, oh. or should I say the house is yours? <laughs> yeah, the house is mine. Yes, and yours definitely. Too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, for now we're going to focus on different types of houses. Okay, we know that we have a lot of tough houses like igloo, castle, mansion. But for today, I'm not going to talk about that mm -hmm. because that is something that you normally saw on TV. Okay. On the fairy tale, right? Mm -hmm. But today we are going to be more realistic, looking right. at different types of houses. All right. For example, here we have terrace, cottage, bungalow, detached, and semi-detached. What you have to do, the task for this time, is that you need to label each and every house here. All right. Mm -hmm. But you are not. I'm not going to ask you to answer right away. What I'm going to do is that I am going to explain first about each and every house. The first one will focus on cottage. Okay, cottage is a small house, usually located in the countryside mm -hmm. and originated in England during the Middle Ages. And this type of house is normally dwelled by the farmers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that the roof is also made of straw. Oh. It's a thatched roof, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. Another type of house is what we call a semi-detached. A house that is joined to another similar house. Joined on one side by a shared wall. You can see there the wall in the middle? Right. Yeah? Okay. So, we can see here, for example, house number one belongs to Mr. Wilson. Could be house number one belongs to Mr. Wilson, the house on your right, and the house on your left belongs to Mr. Ben. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and here, this house is what we call a bungalow. This is what people usually mistaken. It is a stand-alone house, and people always thought that a bungalow house is a big house, a huge house mm -hmm. that belongs to rich people. Yeah. But actually, bungalow house is a small type of home. Small? You can, yeah, it's okay. a small type of home like this, like you can see in the picture. And it has sloped roof. Sloped Yeah, roof. and you can see that large front windows. Okay, that is what we call a bungalow house. Okay, and this is what we call a detached house, a stand-alone house. A stand-alone residential, just like a bungalow house. What makes them different is that a detached is a... Is it a small or a huge house? It's a huge house. Yes, it's a huge house, mm -hmm. surrounded by a garden. Same goes with the bungalow, also has a... Garden, surrounded smaller garden. by a garden, a smaller garden. Mm -hmm. okay. And the next one is what we call terrace, a row of similar houses. Okay, They are just the same. Could be maybe the colour of the wall or the paint is different. Joined together by the walls and built in continuous line. Do you understand pupils? Okay, do you got what I explained to you? For me, it's very clear. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, so it is built in continuous line. And the last one here is what we call flats, also known as the apartment. Okay, usually, it is usually we can find flats in the city area. A building consists of several floors, and on each floor, it has several units provided with lift and staircase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so now we will move back okay, to our task for today where we would have to label each and every house here. Okay, let us just have a look, the, uh, look at the first house here. Here, this picture. Okay, what type of house is this? Can someone okay, name the house? Let's ask the people. Yeah, anyone would like to answer? Yes, Adi, very good. Adi always be the first one to answer the questions. <laughs> Okay, Adi. Adi. So, what is the name of the house here? It's a cottage. It's a cottage. Yeah, I think that's right. It's a cottage. So, you can label here the house. It's a cottage. Oops. Alright. It's moving the white part. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, let's look at the next one. The next one here. Can you see here? Okay, on your right. Okay. Okay. So, what type of house is this? Anyone like to answer? Yes. 
Who's next? I'm sure you're familiar with the house. Okay, can we have After between listening Tori to the or Wahida, teacher? Yes, uh, can we have Wahida? Wahida. Yes, yeah, she's putting up her hands now. Mm -hmm. I think it's a bungalow. Again? Bungalow. It's a bungalow house. Yeah, that's right. It's a bungalow house. Alright. So we can label here the house. It's a bungalow house. Hmm. Okay, thank you, okay. Wahida. Let's look at the next one here. Okay. On your left. What type of house is that? Alright, who's, who's ready like to, to answer? Who would like to answer? Yes, Tori. What's the answer, Tori? Detached. It's a detached house. Yes, it's a huge house mm. with a garden. Definitely. You can see the yeah. difference between the detached and bungalow. Yeah, it's a stand-alone residential. Mm -mm. Just like the bungalow house. And for the next one, this one, I like to ask Kakak Shafika. Can we ask Kakak ah, Shafika here? Okay. Yeah, I remember this because it kind of looks like a reflection. So it's a semi detached teacher. It's a semi detached. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right. Yay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think you better hide the last answer. <laughs> okay, I better hide the last answer. So what's the last answer, people? Anyone like to answer? Dania hasn't answered yet. Yeah, Dania, mm. can I have. The answer from you? What do you think, Dania? Dania, are you okay? Dania, are you okay, Dania? Perhaps your mic isn't okay. on. Yeah. Okay, what's the answer? For the last house here. Terrace. It's a terrace mm -hmm. house. Yeah, you are right. Okay, it's a row of similar houses. They look just the same. Okay. All right. It's a terrace house. There you okay. go. So you got all the house correct here. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah. So I like to ask you, Shafika. Yes, teacher. If you were to own your a uh, house. Mm hmm. What type of house would you like to have? Well, teacher, just now before you taught us the difference, I would have a bungalow. But now I know the different sizes, I would have a detached. Detached house. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you want to have a huge family? Huge standalone house. Yes, huge yeah. family. Perhaps just a huge space for myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, teacher, All right. moving on. Uh -huh. okay. What are we going to do now? Okay, mm -hmm. for the next activity, we're going to have Okay, we are going to have uh, have a look at the word here. Okay. Okay, we have three different words. Okay, in the box you can see as you can see, mm -hmm. bricks, bamboo and builder. Okay, you would have to categorize them. According to the groups, you know that two words are from the same category, but one word is the odd one. What you want to look for is the odd one. Which ah. one is the odd one? Bricks, bamboo and builder. Okay. Alright. Can we give a moment to our pupils? Unless they're ready. When you're ready, you can raise your hands up. Okay. If you're ready to answer. Okay. Anyone is ready to answer? Perhaps yes, Adib again? Daniel is oh, ready Dania. to answer. Okay. <laughs> builder. Builder. Okay. Builder. Can we just have a look? Yes, that's right. The answer is builder because why bricks and bamboo are the types of material Materials. that people use to build a house. Mm -hmm. Where the builder is a type of occupations. Okay, so moving on to the next one. Cottage, ceiling and castle. Okay, what is the which one is the odd one? Okay, who's next? Okay, who like to answer? Yes, Adib. Adib. Very good. He's been waiting. Okay, Adib. Ceiling. Ceiling. Okay, cottage, ceiling and castle. Yeah, I think you are right. The answer is ceiling. Okay, because cottage and castle are the types of house, the type of building. Mm -hmm. Move on to the next one. Okay, you need to circle the odd one. Sinks, plumber and cleaner. Which one is the odd one here? Anyone like to answer? Yes, Tori. What is the answer, Tori? Sink. Sink. Okay, we will see. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Sink. Okay. So the answer is sink because plumber and cleaner are types of occupations. Okay. Okay. 
And the next one, number four. Can we ask Kakak Shafika to answer the question? Uh, okay. Leaf, staircase and terrace. Oh, right. I think it is terrace, teacher. Terrace. Because terrace is the only one uh, referring to the type of house. Okay, ah. you are great. Okay, that's right. Is okay. that correct? Okay, give yourself a big applause. And two thumbs up. Give two thumbs up. Great. Uh, right. Okay. For that uh, purpose, our pupils, uh, Adib, Dania, and also who was the last one? just now answered uh, correctly right teacher yeah. how would you mark them for the answers today okay mm -hmm. for them i think i would award them with um Five stars. Five stars. Yeah, well, five stars good for job, pupils. All right. Can you give a bit of a summary for okay. our segment today? Okay. Mm -hmm. For our segment today, you mean for the whole segment? No, for, for this first, segment, teacher. For this segment. Mm -hmm. For this segment, they have learned about different types of houses where they would differentiate house according to the features okay. and they'll be able to group words according to the category and choose the odd one. Right. Yeah. So it's it's important to know the groups of uh, categories that you're mm. referring to, yeah. such as when you mentioned just now the materials, the type of houses, and also what was the, the other one? Occupation. Occupation. Yeah. That's where we can uh, differentiate where, uh, uh, for example, I want to live in this kind of houses. Then I know how to describe it to the person yeah. building it. Yeah. Otherwise, I would they would just get lost. Mm -mm. All right, yeah. teacher. Um, now that we've learned all that, and we're going to be learning more after this so don't go anywhere we'll be right back here on slot mendengar rendah didik tv kpm